Hip-hop since 1987.com. Since 1987, we live right now. Street is like studios, and we have a special occasion. True Jack City, the movement is about to take off January 27th. So it's only right that we get with these gentlemen and find out exactly what's going on. We here with the with the founder, the leader of the gang, Two Chains. Talk to us a little bit about this movement. Um, basically, it's a new campaign, TRU. The acronym stands for the Real U, the Real University. Uh, we used to catch some. I'm going to war with at the particular time I'm going to bat with. Um, they don't know this is Short Dog, aka Fresh from Houston. You know what I mean? I got my young nigga right here, Schoolie. Used to be a part of the Rich Kids, still is, but you know, got a solo thing popping, representing the West Side, and then you know, Cat One representing Chi Town. And together, um, we didn't know whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? We just. You know, individuals, first of all, you know, I really respect everything that they bring to the table. Um, their individuality, their creativeness, you know what I mean, their artistic expression. And so for me, it's just about, you know, Voltron and up for the True Jack City, you know what I mean, putting records together. You know, all of us has, you know, our own solo things going on and mixtapes in the works. But True Jack City is like a... Um, a collaborative effort, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just it's us, you know what I'm saying? We got Doc on there, Bank Road Fresh, Travis Porter, and a few other cats from Atlanta. So, you know, everybody kind of want to know what I was doing last year. Uh, why I didn't drop an album like I do every year. And last year for me was like a seed planting year, you know what I'm saying? And, and right now I'm watching some of the seeds grow. It was about, you know, you know, furthering my independence. It was about getting some people around me, you know what I mean? That I was comfortable with, happy with, that can help me continue growing. And I think I did a good job of putting that together, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, if these niggas ain't never know that, I want to tell them I appreciate them niggas for just believing in me and riding with me and the team. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's big things popping in 2015. To me, feel like it's going to be my best year. And I know people thought they already seen that from me. So I'm, I'm excited about the mixtape. I'm excited about my album. I'm excited about their projects. I'm excited about being a threat. And let niggas know we got some weapons of mass destruction over here. Everybody fucking game up. <laughs> That's well said. I like how you said that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta ask. You didn't put out an album as you, as you just referred to last year. However, you did give us the Free the free Brace project that was insane. So what, why did you feel like it was time now for you to grab your crew and drop the uh, True Jack City project? Well, it's been time. It was just about, you know, lining everything up. You know what I mean? I just, I just think, you know, me studying the game and me being a student of the game. Those that are successful are, are not successful. They have longevity. They always pull people in, you know what I mean, who may be younger, or just who else may have a different um, a different view of just being creative. So for me, you know what I mean, me just studying and me not just being, uh, or just taking it for granted, thinking it's always going to be my time, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, you can always re, you know what I'm saying, you can you know, revisit certain shit. You can, you know what I mean, re-rock yourself, come back out, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a different type of entity. So with these guys, I just felt like um, this is who I wanted to be with me when I started, you know, doing that, when I wanted to take my little career to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I prayed for it, and so I kind of feel good about it. Okay, we definitely dig that. Now, I want to give you gentlemen a chance, you know, to, to uh, give our audience a chance to get familiar with you guys. Cat, tell us a little bit about yourself. And Schooly, I want you to break us off a little bit about yourself as well as you, sure, dog. Uh, Cat One, Chicago Zone, first rapper signed to Motown in 2000. Um, fast forward, did some pen work on different artists, has, you know, had my hands on some records that, that did pretty well. And, um, you know, we came to Atlanta. Um, with my Motown deal, I was working with Jazzy and I uh, went to school with Luda. And through Luda, I met my big homie Tit. And, uh, you know, we just rocked from day one. It's like maybe 10, 11, 12 years ago through Shauna, which, you know what I'm saying, is like a sister to me. <coughs> and um, uh, I had a record called Shot Town Finest. It was me, Twist, and Shauna. And I was at the radio with Luda, and uh, he was doing the, he was like, we were doing B roll, just kicking it. You know, I went to grade school with bro. So we kind of just had a, rec a relationship. Before the whole, you know, the music thing popped. Long story short, I had this record. He heard Shauna's voice, and he was like, "Yo, I need a, I got a, a idea. I, I, I need her for a record. Put them two in tune, and that's how you got fantasy. You know what I mean? And then just riding that way with with her being like a sister to me, I met Brian, and he just kept his word, and it was just pretty much, nigga, whoever get there first, I got you. 
Mm-hmm. And we are to you. School, you've been doing your thing for a while as far as, you know, like, with a duo, risk, risk Kids. Talk to us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, um, started when I was 14 and a half. Uh, jumped straight out of eighth grade. Some, um, you know, Rich Kids jumped off, Grand Hustle, good mentors for us. Uh, uh, me and Kayla, we joined, we just stayed together after the group broke up. Um, made the IC, you know, I had a record that everybody liked. I felt like we was bad. I felt like I couldn't stop, you know, that that, that helped me, that motivated me because I could just make a song and it just pop like that after something, you know. Um, and I, me and Kay did a mid I, I um, asked for a verse from Big Bro one time, you know. He gave us a verse one time ago and then it just some strange reason we just, we connected. You know, he told me to come to the studio. Did something, they heard it, told them to come to the studio again. And man, you got it. It's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So sure, God, let us know. You've been doing your thing in Houston for a while, but you're here in Atlanta right now. Yeah. Talk to the people. Let them know a little bit about yourself. Yeah. You know, shut down, fresh man. How you want to do it? I'm not a Houston, Texas. I originally was discovered by Russell Simmons, and my first situation was a Dev Jam situation. And uh, just through my through my whole career, you know, I just been a little bit behind the scenes, just doing a lot of writing here and there, studying the game, learning, trying to develop my skills, get better, uh, work with countless people, different situations, you know, from from Jermaine Dupree with the so so death situation to my bro Lil Wayne with the Young Money situation, and that ultimately that's how we even met, you know, through Wayne. And from there, you know, you know, I always been a hustler first, so that's been my thing, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what. Me and Tit relationship grew because we come from the same background, and it's always good when you know somebody know your real background. You know y'all able to connect on a different level. It ain't just music, it ain't just business. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, the streets is different. You, know I mean? you can't just rap good and dress fly. You know what I'm saying? People gotta really connect with who you are as a, as a person. You know what I'm saying? So as we developed and grew, you know, seeing bro take off, it was always love and respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Cap said, you know, bro, just a, a man of his word, and we always stayed down, like, regardless of what was going on in the music side, we always had a bond, you know, being in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So, once the situation, opportunity presented itself, who better than to rock with than somebody you got a real history with, you know what I'm saying, know your story. So, that's how I came to you. January 27th, <coughs> True Jack City hits the streets. What can we expect from this project? A lot of bars, a lot of swag, wow. just... A lot of us. <laughs> just that new wave, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, we, we, well, of course we got, you know what I mean, we went to some of the go-to names as far as production, but we didn't really have to go outside of, the, of this core for all the features and flooded with different features. We just gave you the sauce, you know what I mean? And it's the real, the real you. Show it, yeah, we showed it all the real. A bunch of sauce. The real us. <laughs> You know what it is, Hip Hop since 1987. We live right now, Street Exec Studios, True University in the, in the building right now. January 27th is going to be epic. Look out for the new project and stay tuned to Hip Hop since 1987 for a lot more from these brothers. True. True. True.